I'm going to show you everything about the hinge door for IKEA PAX for Drup frames. I'm gonna take you through the installation. I'm gonna explain you about the hinges. I'm gonna show you how to install the hinges or on the doors. How to adjust the doors if they're not lining up properly with the frames. How the adjustment work, how many screws you have and everything about the adjustment. And I'm gonna tell you everything what you need to do before you gonna do the doors to avoid uneven doors at the end. Let's do it. First I want to explain you what you need to do with the frames to avoid uneven doors at the end. So basically you need to put the you need to put the frame in the right position. That means if you measure from corner to corner you're gonna to need to get exactly the same number. If not you just tap the one corner with the number is bigger till you get exactly the same number. That means you're gonna achieve 90 degrees in each corner of the IKEA packs for the frame. Once you have a same number from corner to corner on the both sides, you can secure the corners. The wardrobe frame not gonna move anymore. Then check your sides. Sometimes the the frames bending, as this is the long wardrobe frame can bend inner or outer side. Check we measure the middle, we measure the top and the bottom. And once you get the same number, then you can start to secure the frame with the nails all around. Push the frame in or out on the middle depend how you need once you're happy once you have the same number on the top bottom and the middle you can secure the frame and that's how you prevent the uneven door at the end so the frame is going to be in 90 degrees on each side this is the slimmer frame and exactly the same thing is going to apply for the, the thicker frame that's the bigger frame this is the 58 centimeters the previous one was 35 centimeters frame so this is the bigger frame exactly the same measure from corner to corner make sure you have the same number, each corner is 90 degree, secure the corner so wardrobe is not gonna, move, not gonna move, measure the middle part if everything is matching as it's supposed to be, your frame is in the right position and you can you have a frame correctly done ready for the doors. That's how you avoid the problems at the end. Now we're gonna open the doors, first check if your box is, if your doors are in a good condition. So I'm gonna find a little bit later on this one. I didn't check and there are gonna be some dents. But first we're gonna have a hinges. In the box you get three hinges, two with the soft closing. That's the soft closing, you see the plastic moving slowly back. That's the soft closing on the two and the middle hinge gonna be without it. So that's good you get in the box and those stickers, rubber stickers, which are gonna go on the other side of the door, just prevent the door again, loud slamming. Now we can install the hinges, just place them in a pre-drill holes on the door and secure it with the two screws. The top and the bottom is the soft closing, on the middle is a regular hinge. Stickers in the corners, exactly the same on the other door, one plain and two soft closing and two stickers, two rubber stickers. Place the hinges in and the stickers in the corners so the door's not gonna slam loud. And you can secure the hinges with the two screws on each hinge. So you see, I find out now here there is a dent. So I'm gonna come, have to come next time to finish this recording. There it is. Check your boxes when you open the doors. Once the box is smashed in a corner, that's a bad sign. I didn't check. So now we have the return done. I can carry on with these um, hinge doors now. We're gonna have three doors without a mirror, one with mirror. Each box exactly the same, two soft closing, one regular hinge. That's the soft closing mechanism is built in, in the hinge. See the small plastic is moving slowly and we can place the hinges in. So we're gonna have three plain doors, one with the mirror. The mirror one's quite heavy, I'm gonna explain you in a moment. So securing the all three hinges, there it is, two screws on each hinge. Top and the bottom on all doors are soft closing. That's the rubber sticker, which is gonna prevent the doors against the loud slamming. This is the mirror door, you see a slimmer door, but they are very heavy because of the mirror on the other side. But exactly the same hinges, just secure each hinge with the two screws and the bottom and the top is soft closing, the middle, part, middle hinge is a regular hinge. So those mirror doors are quite heavy but we have only one here and it's a smaller door so it's gonna be fine. Uh, if you have all four doors I would suggest 
to attach the frames to the wall. This is the stickers, they're gonna go exactly the same on the mirror doors. And this is the last door which I'm gonna, which I'm gonna show you with the um, hinges, self-closing, top and bottom, exactly the same as all, all doors. Top and bottom, self-closing, middle, middle hinge is a regular hinge. Stickers one on the top, one on the bottom. You can put those stickers on the frame or on the doors. I like to put them on the doors, not on the frames. And we secure the last door with the two screws on each inch. Now we're gonna show you how to put them up. Uh, you see I have screwdriver on me. That's the small screwdriver. If you like to check it out, it's in the description, the link for it. Here, I'm working alone. So you see one foot going under the doors, another a uh, hand is holding the doors from one side and on the top and I can adjust with the foot the doors up or down depending where I where is the holes so if you're working alone that's how you do it if you have someone next to you it's much easier so it can help you from the side you don't need to put your foot under the doors doors are quite heavy as well so have a screwdriver on me and I can secure the top hinge after you secure the first screws it get easier you can let it go from the side just make sure the screw is completely in so the doors are not gonna flip on you once you secure the second hinge or it better if you hold it till the second hinge uh, on the side still because the door can kind of twist but once you have the second one in it's all good you can let it go and finish it the last hinge at the bottom so there is two screws securing each hinge and you're gonna have another three screws for adjustment. I, I'm gonna explain you that in a moment. See, nice soft closing at the end. Closing quietly because of the rubber stickers on the top. A nice soft closing hinge on the top and bottom. Exactly the same for the other doors. One foot under, holding with the hand on the side and on the top. I have a screwdriver on me. This small one is uh, fantastic for this type of jobs because it's small, you can have it on you all the time. Battery lasts forever as well. So as I mentioned, you can check out all the links for the uh, all the tools I'm using in the descriptions. Very useful if you do any kind of DIY or some small assembly at home. There it is. Two doors up. We have slight gap on the side. There is a still a film on the doors covering the color of the doors and uh, we can do the last door now exactly the same one foot holding from the bottom once you secure first two hinges you can let go and secure the bottom hinge as well last one we're gonna do the uh, mirror door as i mentioned those doors are very heavy i think it's the heaviest doors you can get on uh, from the ikea pax range not this uh, smaller door but the regular size door with the mirror they are very heavy so if you have four of these bigger ones you definitely should consider to attach the wardrobe on the wall otherwise sometimes i see when i open all four doors the whole things coming down so secure your wardrobes to the wall important okay now when I have all the doors, I can check out how they're lining up. As well, you can uh, put all your baskets in just to check if uh, nothing interfering. Uh, check all your drawers if they're running smooth, the baskets running nicely and the drawers running nicely, not uh, hitting the doors. That's all work out. You can adjust the doors now. So check if they're lining up nicely on the top. This is the door handles for the doors you can choose different ones only the mirror doors they have a hinge included in the box because there's this is a specific hinge which is attached from the back with the two small screws as you cannot drill through the through the mirror all the way so now we're gonna adjust the doors i have a problem on the left side the right side is good but you see here if i'm moving the wardrobe if you have a carpet let's say the wardrobe can move this way up and down or if you load the wardrobe it can slightly sit down in the carpet a little bit I'm gonna adjust the hinges so this screws is for up and down this move whole hinge up and down this one gonna, can open the hinge and moving to the left or to the right and securing the hinge as well in place and the last one moving door in or out whole hinge go up or down this one you can open the hinge and move left or right this way or that way and the last adjusting screw which is here you're moving the whole doors in or out 
see when I'm moving the, the screw in or out, the doors are moving in or out as well. So this is the free adjustment screws for each hinge. So depend how your doors are lining up, you can check it out when you close the door. So in this case, we don't have even doors on this side. So we're gonna push the whole doors on one side up. So now this side coming up. So this is the adjustment for the doors going up or down. So these doors have to go up. So just twist the screw on each hinge to the same side. You see, I move the hinge slightly up. Now it's better, but it's not exactly the, as I want it. So the other doors have to go down. So the other hinge, we move it down. Just go to the same screw and move the other way around. So the hinge on each hinge gonna move lower. So basically the whole door is gonna move lower, but adjust all three hinges. Remove your basket or any and adjust the last hinge. Now we can check if it's lining up nicely. If yes, and you're happy with the gaps on the middle as well, you can finish it here. If you're not happy with the gaps, you can adjust it with the with the third screw, which is at the front of the hinge. Last thing, you remove the plastic from each door and you do your door handles, depend which door handles you, you bought it. That's how you install and adjust hinge doors for IKEA Pax Wardrobe. I hope you enjoyed. If yes, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel as always. It helped a lot. Thank you very much and see you in my next one very, very soon. Have a fantastic day.